Welcome to all of you this afternoon as we come to celebrate Ryan and Tessa's love for each other and to ask God's blessings upon their marriage. And so we begin this service this afternoon in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The congregation may be seated. First thing we do is have you declare your intentions about this afternoon. Ryan, will you have Tessa to be your wife, to live together in a holy marriage? Will you love her, honor and keep her, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. And Tessa, will you have Ryan to be your husband, to live together in a holy marriage? Will you love him and honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I will. And will all of you gathered here this afternoon, family and friends, will you give Ryan and Tessa your love and your blessing and do everything you can to uphold and care for them in their life together? Please answer, we will. We will. Let us pray. Eternal God, our creator and redeemer, as you gladdened the wedding at Cana in Galilee, by the presence of your Son, so bring your joy to this wedding now by his presence. Look in favor upon Ryan and Tessa, and grant that they, rejoicing in all your gifts, may at length celebrate the unending marriage feast with Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We'll hear the first reading. The Art of a Good Marriage by Wilfred A. Peterson. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue all through the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together, facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude or duty of sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not looking for per perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, 
and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for the things in spirit. It is a common search for the good and beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. It is discovering what marriage can be at its best. Thank you. The second reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians in chapter three. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Thus far the second reading. And then some verses from St. John's Gospel, Jesus' words to his disciples. Jesus said in chapter 15, I love you just as the Father loves me. Remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My commandment is this, love one another just as I love you. The words of our Lord. Ryan and Tessa, what a beautiful, wonderful fall day this is. And what a wonderful, beautiful day and place to celebrate your marriage today. It's just gorgeous, and it matches the joy and happiness in your hearts, as well as the joy and happiness in our hearts to be able to witness your vows and to support you in your life together. Marriage, it seems to me, is both a challenge and a promise. Deciding to join your two lives into one life together no doubt has presented challenges along the way. Getting to know each other, adjusting to each other's likes and dislikes, making decisions together. All of these and more are challenges that you have met and overcome. And more challenges will come your way as you grow deeper and more mature in your love and commitment to each other. But with those challenges come the promises, the promises of sharing your life together, the promises of deep and abiding joy and happiness, the promises of satisfaction and wonder, the promises of companionship and trust, of caring and being cared for. Marriage is also a gift from God and a promise by God. The deep and committed love that you have for each other is a gift from God. God who has created you, God who has given you all your gifts and talents and abilities, and God who loves you in such a way that your love deepens and strengthens. And with that gift come God's promises to be with you, to guide and protect you, to give you joy. As Jesus says, I've told you this, that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This complete joy includes not only your love for each other, but God's love for you. 
It includes gratitude and thankfulness for the blessings of each other and the gratitude for God's blessings. It includes the renewing power of forgiveness and God's peace. Ryan and Tessa, this is a beautiful day, a wonderful, beautiful fall day. And even the bees are wandering around here. Yeah, it's right in the earring. <laughs> Aside from the bee, may the memories of this beautiful fall day with the richness and depth of the colors reflect the deepening richness and beauty of your love and your joy in Christ's promises. Amen. I invite you to join your hands and declare your vows. Ryan, repeat after me. In the presence of God and this community. In the presence of God and this community. I, Ryan, take you, Tessa. I, Ryan, take you, Tessa. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold for this day forward. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. And Tessa, repeat after me. In the presence of God and this community. In the presence of God and this community. I, Tessa, take you, Ryan. I, Tessa, take you, Ryan. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. I have the ring. I have the sweat on my forehead. And I do too. Bless these rings, O God. May Ryan and Tessa, who wear them, live in love and fidelity and, and continue in your service all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And Ryan, as you place the ring on Tessa's finger, repeat after me. Okay. Tessa, I give you this ring. Tessa, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. Place the ring on Ryan's finger. Repeat after me. Ryan, I give you this ring. Ryan, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. Ryan and Tessa, by their promises before God and in the presence of you, their family and friends, have bound themselves together as husband and wife, those whom God has joined together. Let no one put asunder. Amen. The Lord God, who created our first parents and established them in marriage, strengthen and bless you, that you may delight in each other and grow in holy love until your life's end. Amen. And at this time, Ryan and Tessa will visually symbolize the unity of their lives in marriage with this unity wine ceremony. Ryan and Tessa, the red wine up front here represents the deep richness of the love in your hearts and the robust energy that keeps your loving relationship growing. And the white wine, fermented in oak barrels, represents the strength of a loving marriage and a lingering taste in your soul for the love you feel for each other. As you combine these two, creating a rosé wine, this represents your two lives coming together and creating a new reality, a new family. Wine itself, in all of its varieties, is a gift from God, just as your love for each other is a gift from God. God who sustains and undergirds your love and your commitment to each other. As you share this wine, our prayers support you 
that God will continually bless and enrich you in your lives together. I invite you to stand if you're able to for the closing prayers and benediction. Oh Lord God, Lord of love, we thank you for the love that Ryan and Tessa have found in each other. And we pray that you will bless their commitment to each other and strengthen their loyalty and faithfulness to each other. Bless them that they may be filled with grace and love as they grow closer throughout the years. We pray for your blessings both on their new family and all families throughout the world in their loving support for each other. This we pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. God Almighty, send you light and truth to keep you all the days of your life. The hand of God protect you. The holy angels of God accompany you and the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you. It's God's blessings to you. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure and delight to introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Ryan and Tessa Gibson. Could hide neat the wings of a blue bird as it sings. The six o'clock of alarm would never ring, but it rings and I rise, wipe the sleep out of my eyes. The shaven razor's cold and it stings. 
Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean? Do a daydream believer and a homecoming queen. You once thought of me as a white knight on a steed. Now you know how happy I can be. Our good times start the end without our one to spin. But how much, baby, do we really need? Cheer up, sleepy jeans. Oh, what can it mean to a daydream believer and a homecoming queen? Big 